This is the 2023 Toyota BZ4X Limited. This is the first completely electric vehicle on the market from Toyota, and it is the total package. The BZ4X Limited is all-wheel drive and has an estimated battery range of 227 miles on its full 11-hour charge. With heated leather seats, a panoramic sunroof, and Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, this futuristic SUV will save you a trip to the gas station while also turning heads with its stunning design and features. Today, we're taking Jared Roman for a drive. The 6'3 defenseman joined the Dogs last March, and the Lincoln Park, Michigan native has recorded two goals, 10 assists, and a plus 8 rating in 30 games this season for Roanoke. Jared, how's it going, bud? Hey, how's it going, man? How are you? Doing well. Good to see you, my Good man. Good to see you. I'm Mitch Stewart, and this is Driving with the Dogs. Thanks, thanks for, for joining me here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll get y'all buckled in. We got the yeah. we brought the spaceship out yeah, today awesome. from Toyota. So. 360 view on that thing, huh? Yeah, good to have you on finally. Um, I wanted to just start off by talking about you coming to Roanoke last spring when you first did at the end of your college career at Wisconsin Eau Claire. How did that process kind of come about between you and getting in touch with Dan and, and finding your way to Roanoke in March? Man, I'll tell you, it was a whirlwind. I kind of, at the end of my college season, it wrapped up uh, so abruptly. I didn't really know uh, what was going to go on or what was going to go happen. And I, I didn't know a ton about the SPHL. I knew enough to know of the different teams involved and just started reaching out to teams, uh, you know, whoever would get back to me. And lucky enough, the, the stars aligned here in the Star City and uh, Coach uh, Bremner reached out to me. And uh, we, we right after that, we made it happen pretty quickly. And I was here in Jiffy and then uh, you know the rest is kind of history on that uh, nice long playoff run which was just an amazing experience. You talk about that nice long playoff run you were a rookie that joined in kind of as a, a pretty tough stretch of the season was starting to come to an end for the dogs right as you guys were heating up before the playoffs and you joined a room that had so many veterans and, and you're coming in you know getting your first taste of life in the pros what were you kind of able to learn and, and gather during that run that you all had in March and April into the first week of May? Yeah, what was really nice about it is I was able to get a handful of regular season games in. So that kind of got out of like, you know, any rookie nerves or anything like that. So then when playoffs came around, you know, I was used to the guys. Uh, I was used to, you know, what coach expected from us and uh, just really ready to feel at home and it kind of did work on that. I feel like almost everyone kind of felt that as we made that stretch in the playoffs. So you started out at Stevenson University, ended up transferring to Wisconsin Eau Claire. You're a fellow Blue Gold alumni with Mac Jansen here on the dogs. But I'm just kind of curious, what led to that decision for you to end up kind of deciding to pivot at that point in your college career? Yeah, I think for me, it was a lot of kind of like jumping into the pros. Um, when I was leaving juniors, I kind of really didn't know where I wanted to go. Uh, I didn't have things quite planned out. And um, I ended up going to Stevenson and it just ended up not being the right fit for me. Uh, just everything wise, academically, uh, life wise, hockey wise. So, uh, you know, I went looking to transfer and kind of the same thing. Uh, Coach Lowen at um, Eau Claire reached out to me. I knew Eau Claire had a great history with hockey programs uh, obviously I didn't know about Mac Jansen yet I, I never played with them we just missed each other by a year but Eau uh, Claire has a great history and it just seemed like an awesome hockey town and a place I wanted to be and then once I learned more about the school uh, I was ready to make that jump and go to Eau Claire and it, and it ended up being the best thing uh, everything happens for a reason so it ended up being the best thing for me. So another thing that I wanted to touch on that I've kind of just noticed as, as you've been here in Roanoke that not a lot of folks are probably going to know, but you've become the resident count guy on the bus. <laughs> um, I don't know if you were just like a math whiz at Eau Claire. Your professors are going to love probably seeing this, <laughs> like seeing that you're putting everything you learn to use. But for those that don't understand what we're talking about, when we're trying to make sure we've got everybody who needs to be on the bus on the bus, it, it falls to you to make sure that we're all we're all good that we've got everyone accounted for how did that kind of come about as far as you becoming the count guy was it just like you were so much better at math than everyone <laughs> or was everyone else on the team just that bad at it yeah i know <laughs> you know i think it kind of falls to whoever's sitting close to a coach so i think it kind of started with that and it kind of came between uh, me and valerian and 
Valerian always seemed to pass it on to me, so uh, I've definitely taken pride in my counting skills. Uh, it's not an easy job. There's a lot of places to hide on that bus, so making sure we have that right number, uh, it is a lot of pressure, but I do take some pride in it now. It seems like you've become just a lot more comfortable on the ice, week to week, game to game, since you've been here last spring and then into the first half of this season. How can you kind of speak to that where, where you've been able to grow and, and parts of your game and where are you still kind of trying to improve? Yeah, obviously uh, the more reps I get and just the more games I get, it naturally gets easier. But, uh, you know, a big thing is uh, coach always like has this open door policy. So just being able to go and talk to him and kind of see his perspective from things and then kind of share my perspective as well. Like it just really helps me kind of find that game. Like even when I feel like I'm playing really good hockey, just to kind of hear his perspective on what he thinks. And then that helps me zero in on maybe some other parts of my game that I wasn't uh, playing in a close enough attention to. So then it kind of keeps me rolling, keeps me comfortable, kind of gives me some objectives night in and night out, no matter, you know, how I feel like I'm playing or what's going on in the game. I kind of have these mental objectives that kind of help me achieve and just kind of stay on course, I think. So, uh, you know, all props to coach, but I think that, you know, he's really helped me come along here and, you know, my first season and a half or however you want to call it. So you and CJ Valerian, even when you guys got here in the spring, have ended up playing a lot of minutes together. You guys are paired up pretty often out there on the ice and you guys have really formed a, a strong partnership I think on the blue line for Roanoke despite the fact that you all are kind of two of the, the lesser experienced two of the younger guys on that blue line what do you think kind of makes it work between you and CJ when you guys are paired up together on defense yeah I love playing with Val and we've talked about this before I don't know if it's just how you know he came in from college as well last year so I don't know if it's just us kind of having similar experiences and kind of sharing that with each other, having someone to talk to about it. Or, uh, I mean, we were roommates for the end of the year last year, but uh, I think it all starts with just our communication. Uh, me and him are both really talkative guys, as you probably know, but that carries over on the bench as well. So we're always talking about different things that we see, you know, making sure, hey, were you open there? Or, you know, hey, you had me here, just giving each other more options. And I think it does really help just our communication. And, you know, we're always having each other's backs and just being supportive. So, you know, there's not much negative energy in between us. So it's a lot of positivity and it's it's great playing with them. I love it. Well, and on top of that, it's not just the chemistry you guys have built together on the ice, but it feels like every time we're going to pack the bus, like <laughs> the two architects of getting it packed correctly and getting everything on there, end up being you and CJ how did that end up coming to be yeah I think that just kind of uh you know being rookies but still having uh you know x amount of games from last year we kind of wanted to you know take on some charge here and yeah someone gave me a Tetris or a Jenga comment last time but uh <laughs> you know we have our formula we know what fits there and which way things need to be flipped around and hey I haven't heard any complaints and you know we get we get on the road a lot faster so uh, it's another thing. Hey, I'll take pride in it. I'll claim that all day. <laughs> it's the little things, right? Yeah. The attention to detail. Is there kind of anything that I didn't touch on that you wanted to, to speak about or just a message to Dogs fans that are watching this? Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone uh, is so appreciative of the Dogs fans we have here. They've been amazing throughout, uh, you know, helping us, you know, throughout the city and then coming up and supporting us at games as well. Um, you know, I love playing here. I know a lot of guys feel the exact same way, so we're really thankful for that. And, uh, you know, just thankful for everything we have here. Mitch, all you do as well, have <laughs> driving with the dog, so it's been great. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, man, I'll let you get back to it, and, and I think you already got fed and, and everything you needed to do, but hope you have a good rest of your day, and we'll keep it rolling here down the stretch, man. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Thank buddy. you, man. Thanks yeah. for doing this. Driving with the Dogs is sponsored by Haley Toyota the official ride of your rail yard dogs. Visit Haley Toyota online at HaleyHasItForLess.com and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.